What impacted me the most this week was uh, Randy's education on uh, goal setting with, uh, with the Thor concept. I thought that was absolutely phenomenal. My 30-day commitment is going to be to make a minimum of 30 door pulls per day or six points per day or eight presentations per day, which for me is a big thing. I don't know if I've ever made eight presentations in a day. So that's a huge thing. Not sure what I'm going to reward myself with, but I'm going to be thinking about that over the weekend. So that's it. Congratulations. Robin, thank you for being here this week. Uh, you have had uh, such success in the past and already success with your second round of second tour of duty with NFIB, and I know that you're just going to be such a great role model for those that you're, who are coming up behind you that you're going to be able to help because that's just your nature. You're just such a good teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, Susan. Well, what I learned most this week was really everything because it impacted me on every level of what has to be done out there. And I appreciate the ones of you that I met and got to talk to because you gave me a lot of knowledge and insight on the things that you do. Um, my commitment for the next 30 days is to work on the questionnaire to make it shorter to the point um, to get the customer more involved in what's uh, the, not customer, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a bad habit saying customer from my years of background, but uh, make it, you know, to get them more involved in what's going on. Um, I actually just met Bob. Bob is, uh, is Bob has is one of these people that has forgotten more than I I will ever know about selling. A phenomenal guy that I know is going to do wonderfully in the field. He does everything that he does with such ease and just jokes his way through it and he's got that good old boy way and I know that he's going to be a great success. Hello. Uh, it's hard for me to come up with what impacted me the most because everything did. You, you feel like you're by yourself a lot of times in the car. And all these people I've met here, I've gotten to know about half of you pretty well, traded some phone numbers. But all the different paths we got to be at the same place, it's amazing. You know, all the adversity and everything we've gone through. And I've done a lot of hiring, and about a third of the people that I hired only lasted a month. And it's hard to evaluate someone in just a few interviews. But I look around this room and everybody I've talked to, they're all really good people. They could all be friends. I like you all. And that says a lot about the organization and the training down here. At the, the day in the field yesterday really had a lot of impact on me because I am one, I've always, you know, set appointments in the field. You go out, you follow up, you want to think about it, fine. And it just hit me about the middle of the day. It's like, this is the only day I have to sell them. It doesn't matter if they promise me they want me to come back Friday, I need to push them to do it today. My 30-day commitment is to use a survey on every presentation and stop using the back side of it for referrals. <laughs> Matt is absolutely phenomenal. I knew Matt was going to be a great seller the minute that I met him. He's very low-key, but he's He's extremely dynamic. He has a tremendous amount of discipline. You can tell from his background. In fact, Mike came up to me. Uh, they were working, going to be working out in the field, and he was a little bit concerned because Matt wanted to leave a little bit later than Mike was comfortable with. And when he told me, <laughs> when Mike told me who he was going to, I said, "Well, who are you working with?" And he said, "Matt." I said. No problem. Don't worry about it. You guys are going to do great. You know, and they did do phenomenally well. <coughs> so they did wonderfully well. So really, really happy to have met and been able to work with Matt. Thank you. Thank you, Robin.